Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I will show you how to season a brand new carbon steel wok. So here is my old wok. As you can see, it's uh, nicely seasoned. This is a Joyce Chen 14 inch flat bottom wok. And here is a new one. This is a 12 inch Joyce Chen flat bottom carbon steel wok. So every time you buy a new wok, you just can't uh, start cooking with it. You have to season it so that it will become non-stick like this one. All right, let's get started. So before you start, make sure you have everything prepared beforehand. Of course, you're going to need your brand new wok, dish soap, stainless steel scrubber, uh, utensil thongs, a spatula, peanut oil, or any other high smoke point uh, cooking oil, such as a uh, vegetable oil or canola oil or uh, avocado oil, never olive oil, maybe a cup, some paper towels, and some sliced uh, aromatic vegetables. Uh, in this case, I have some onions here and some fresh ginger. All right, the first thing we need to do is to remove the protective coating that the factory has uh, put into this uh, wok. Uh, anytime a new wok uh, is uh, shipped out, they put a protective coating on it to prevent it from rusting. Uh, so we have to remove that by uh, washing it with hot soapy water and using the stainless steel scrubber to clean it out. All right, let's proceed. Actually, there's no way of telling uh, if uh, you have completely re removed the coating, but just go at it for probably five minutes and then uh, we will proceed to the next step. I'm just gonna turn on the heat on, on my stove. Probably a medium heat so, and we, I will uh, make sure that uh, the wok will be completely dry. Make sure to turn on your exhaust fan at this stage because it's gonna be very, very smoky. So the next step, we will turn up the heat. That will burn off uh, most of the residual uh, coating on the pan. So I'm just gonna turn on the heat and then you will see that the pan will change color gradually. We are using a uh, home stove here, so this will probably take a while. But if you watch closely, later on, as uh, the pot, as the wok gets hotter, uh, it will change color. That means uh, the residual oil coating on the pan is being uh, burned off. Right now, it's starting to smoke a bit, and you can uh, slowly see that it's changing color now. That's the protective coating, the residual protecting coating uh, burning off. It's going to turn dark and then it, start, it will uh, start to turn uh, back to somewhat uh, stainless steel blue or uh, back or gray. That means at that point the protective coating has been burned off. Yeah, can you see that? Somewhere here it's already uh, uh, changed color to blue. You can start moving the pan at this point so you can uh, hit the spot where it needs to burn off. Just gonna put it on medium heat so uh, to completely dry it off. And the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll put some oil and uh, soak and stir fry those aromatics. That's uh, almost half a cup of oil. 
I'm gonna steer it around so that uh, every surface of the walk is coated. I'm going to use a wooden spoon to test if the oil is hot. Once that, uh, once you see bubbles forming, that means the wok is hot and we can add the aromatics. So this stage is a decisioning stage. We will uh, still fry these uh, onions and ginger until they're charred. Make sure to, uh, making sure to press all those uh, vegetables to the side so that there will be oil on all surfaces of the inside of the wok. Onions are just about starting to char and you can see that the wok has changed the color now. It's starting to develop that uh, dark patina. The more you use it, the more the wok will darken. You don't have to wash it with soap anymore, just warm water and you'll be good to go. All right. Most of my aromatics has uh, been charged. I think we're done. I'm just gonna drain this, remove this, and then give the wok a good wipe. And that's it. Now we just need to wash this with warm water and that's it. You never have to wash it uh, with uh, soap any longer. Just warm water. Make sure to dry it on your stove. Give it a good wipe of oil before storing it and it will never rust. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching. Bye.